Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 4. In the previous episode we got to see a little backstory of Tsukishima and Surumi and like I have to say like Surumi is like one of the best characters in this like show and like like almost all of the characters are so good and like has such a what can I say depth to them like uh like they have like a good structured backstory of good foundation of a backstory and everything and we still uh like we got to know sugimoto's backstory a little bit uh, uh like the only portion where like he like uh with his friend he like fought uh the war and then like his friend died and uh left uh his wife's like uh like left sugimoto uh, with the what can I say like uh, told him to like give the money to his wife so that like she is blind I, I, I can like remember as far as I can remember and she has a kid so like Sugimoto's like main like uh, purpose for like getting the gold was that and after that like he kind of like got mixed with all of the business with the uh, Ainu and like Ashipas like uh, and Wilk and everything the Ainu gold and all and then like his uh, motivation kind of changed because of that but still like uh, we got to know about him a little bit so we don't have the full backstory i'm guessing there is more stuff that we will probably get to know later on so i'm quite excited to see like how they are going to like like build like the main character sumanto is the main character if sumi has like such a great backstory like i'm wondering like how like uh, how much good will like the or, like uh, sumanto's backstory be and all so and I don't think I'll be disappointed because this show is like on a level on its own and I'm quite like sure that they'll definitely like like make some good story uh, in the like upcoming uh, manga chapters I don't know if the manga I think the manga is still ongoing manga chapters and the anime if it like continues I'm definitely sure it will continue I hope it will continue after this season as well Anyways guys, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 4 of Golden Kamui, season uh, 3. <laughs> okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, what? My god, yeah, but it's it has like those like teeth that saber tooth tigers or saber tooth animals have. Oh, huh? What? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, she also had that? Oh, she still has it? Or, oh, no. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm guessing we'll get to see like more of a Sripa's team this episode. Because we've like really got to see uh, see them like their portion of the story. In this season, I'm talking about. Wow. Yeah, this song is growing on me. Like, at first I was kind of like, yeah, it's okay. But uh, the first season and the second season openings were better. But like, it's starting to grow on me. But the ending song is amazing. I love the ending song. Like, season one and uh, this season also. And I think like, uh, th the same person sing, uh, sang them both. Like, the first season and the third season's ending song. Uh, it was... Uh, six lie i think it was something like the name of the uh, oh yeah that thing they're talking about wait Oh no! Why like... Damn! Okay, well... Why is he doing that Naruto run? <laughs> oh! <laughs> this guy's hilarious! The boy's like, what the hell did I like get myself into? <laughs> Yamada Circus. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Who was that? Oh. It's I forgot his name. What was his this guy's name? Um Okay, so why does he steal? Like it's just like with some kind of his habit? Oh no, no, um, okay, calm down. What the? Okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, obviously, like, what? <laughs> um, and that's not how you lighten the mood. Okay. Ah, uh, hmm. Are they like, like attracting customers like this, like stealing s stuff and then like bringing them here? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, that too. <laughs> Why is he blushing? <laughs> Oh, everyone will perform. Um. Oh. Heh. <laughs> Damn. 
oh are like bicycles like something that like is being introduced new to this place so that's why they can't like yeah i think bicycle is something new for them so that's why like they're struggling with it yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, that's the best place for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Tubarashi indeed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. What's the matter with him? <laughs> okay so it is like a real sword oh yeah oh okay okay that is the like trick it definitely works Oh. Oh my god. Oh! I think it's like something with the water or something. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Okay, that really looks uncomfortable. Wait, how? Okay. But what about the like real blade? My god, what is it? He really is from Naruto, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Koito, his name is. Oh, yeah, I, I think definitely people will kind of get like the, get like tricked by that. <laughs> Sukishima is doing it extremely well. <laughs> Genjiro Chan. Um. Oh, okay. Oh. 
What? Wait. What's with the faces? <laughs> Sugishima is like. <laughs> oh my god, the faces they make. Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's here as well. Okay. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so mother is like, oh. yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> what? <laughs> My god, this guy. <laughs> okay, Sugimoto has like tough competition now. My god, how is he going to like surpass this? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Sugimoto? Did Sugimoto do that? I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> uh, what is okay oh yeah <laughs> yeah, but he did like stand out. Oh, so <laughs> he wanted him to fail, but he like succeeded. Um, what? Um uh, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Oh my god, okay, well, this is a problem. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what? Uh... Uh, 
Well, he like sustained more damage than this, but like cutting a st um cutting a stomach is like something. Yeah, just a tip. Just a tip. The tip. Uh. Oh. Okay, who the hell are you? Oh! Okay! What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. <laughs> what an amazing trick. <laughs> oh my god, this was amazing. This was amazing. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Is he like is he like one of the thieves? Like one of the prisoners? Oh or not? Oh no. Oh I I'm wrong, apparently. Okay. I thought he was like one of the prisoners. Okay. Oh, he's she's also like one. Hmm. That lady. <laughs> okay. Two sentences. Mm, no, he he wants, yeah, he has to do me, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm guessing like some of the prisoners are. Yeah, like the prisoners must be one of them must be there. Yeah. Well, um, does Ashipa like read newspapers? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. God damn, like <laughs> This is amazing. Like this show is so good. The comedy like meshes so well with the whole like everything.
Excuse me. Uh, will we get to see Retar in this season? Um, I don't know. We can see uh, like him in the ending song. Okay, that's the end. Wow, like that was like an episode, and um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so first we get a little brief portion of like Ashipa's team, what they're doing, and <clears throat> like, what can I say? Like, uh, they're still like going uh, like on the journey. Like, we're getting more of um, Sugimoto's like uh, that, like Sugimoto's team, what they're doing. And uh, we're getting like bits and pieces of what Ashipa and her team is like uh, doing. So we'll probably like get more of them later on. I don't know. And uh, we like we get to see a little bit of like Ashipa like and her, her father like her father like also apparently gave her a, a triangle thing, which like as I said like uh, after killing the first like getting the first hunt. They're supposed to break that and uh, yeah and then we get like uh, we like transfer to like Sugimoto's team and their like uh, portion and I have to say like uh, almost like 80% of this like episode was comedy and uh, a little bit of like we had like a little bit of like serious portion but it was so amazing like uh, so good and <coughs> Um, yeah, and at first I kind of thought like when everything like went down and like when those Russians came in and like tried to kill um, Sugimoto and after that I thought like uh, the r r uh, who was that guy the ringmaster I think uh, I thought he was like one of the prisoners uh, and I think like uh, I thought like maybe they were like after him or uh, after like his statues but uh, as wrong apparently uh, he's some kind of a spy and these guys are like uh, the ringmaster and like the old lady um, they are more like uh, what can I say like they do these kind of like jobs uh, not jobs but uh, this kind of like uh, circus thing what they're doing and like get information from people and that's the main like thing they do like the main job <clears throat> and I'm guessing like the uh, like the little kid who were like with them like the uh, guy who uh, the kid who like stole from Koito uh, Koito it was Koito no uh, sorry uh, stole from um, Sugimoto yeah and Koito like gave a chase uh, like chased him I'm guessing uh, he is also somehow related to them like i'm guessing the spies and like they know or, or i don't know he, he might not know the whole like whatever that is happening like uh, as far as i could tell the orphans like the uh, like the little kids who were like uh, uh, with them uh, i think that at least they don't know about like the whole thing that is going uh, in, like behind their back like the things that they were like doing uh, like the spy thing I'm guessing like they don't know obviously like their kids uh, it would be like a problem if they knew all of those things and so that is why I'm thinking like uh, maybe like the guy who like stole like the, f the kid uh, also does not know what they're actually doing I might be wrong because uh, he seemed a lot like mature like I'm mature enough to like know these kind of things I don't know anyways that is like, just like some kind of tribal things uh, that I kind of think sometimes and okay uh, the faces that they were making are so <laughs> especially um, uh, Tanigaki like <laughs> oh my god and <laughs> and uh, like I'm like I'm guessing like uh, uh, what was I, I always like uh, 
confused that name like there's so many names now uh what was yeah uh, i'm guessing like when uh, sugimoto was like doing the uh, like cutting his hand and all and he like he got extremely lucky uh like what happened like lucky in the sense that uh, the russians came in at the same time and it kind of like uh, like he did not have to cut his stomach and at the same time he could like uh, stop the russians and like make like trick the others at the same time and make it seem as if like this was just a part of the trick and uh, all of the things uh, that were happening and he got extremely lucky and uh, he has a lot of scars and i think like he is quite used to like getting cuts all over his body but still it hurts like even though he's used to it uh, something that hurts always hurts even if you're used to it so yeah like uh, like he he got extremely lucky and uh, and sukishima uh, i'm guessing sukishima like <laughs> swapped the picture like hoping to like uh, hoping that koito will kind of mess up seeing the picture but like it kind of like backfired and <laughs> he did well uh, and uh, yeah and like koito will do everything to like uh, protect a picture of uh, Surumi, obviously, and uh, yeah, and what else was in this episode? Um, yeah, it was kind of interesting to see like how like circus. I'm guessing like uh, the or like the the circus like the original circus is in like in the real world. Also, kind of like uh, do stuff like this, like uh, like when they were like doing the harakiri thing, and. <clears throat> I'm guessing like the uh, original circus also like uh, I'm, I'm talking about the real life circuses that like exist in real life they also like like set up these type of gimmicks in the tools that they use for example the uh, weapon that they had was like uh, <clears throat> uh, like uh, like a red kind of like colored pigment was stuck into it so that whenever like <clears throat> it comes in contact with water it will uh, like seem as if like he has cut his hand and like blood is coming out I'm guessing like these are like the same stuff like uh, that actually happens and kind of like showed it here and uh, yeah and uh, yeah that was basically it there's nothing much more I can say about this episode because nothing much happened um it was like uh, extremely hilarious and like uh, they like the transitioning from the like uh, like like what can i say the laughter portions there is a comedy portions to suddenly like a uh, serious portion like when uh, sugimoto was uh, like what can i say like uh, struggling and like thinking like what's going to happen I'm, i have to like cut my stomach and like his hand was all shaking and everything and then like suddenly the like it was extremely hilarious at that point and not hilarious kind of in the sense because like uh, like i was thinking about like the pain that he has to like face like after he cuts in like uh, into his stomach even though it's like just the tip <laughs> it still hurts oh my god what the hell am i saying <laughs> okay ignore that uh, that is something that um i should not have said anyways even if <laughs> it's just the tip um <laughs> like it, it should definitely hurt because like blood is coming out and i was thinking like i was like i'm thinking about the, like the pain and everything and kind of it was like funnier and at the same time it's kind of uncomfortable and then suddenly like these russians come in they were like just like looking at him and then they suddenly like whip out a pistol <laughs> and then suddenly like Sumimoto like slashes his hands off like it was like it's transitioning into like uh, like laughter like a comedy portion to a suddenly serious portion and like and then like again transitioning into comedy portion like the thing that happened like it was comedy and then like suddenly like they like was started fighting but the audiences thought that this was like all part of the like uh like show they were like laughing and cla clapping and then after like killing them all <laughs> the circus master like the ring master says quick like take them take them back take them back uh, we we'll, should like uh, like camouflage this and like make it as if like this is all a part of the show and uh, everyone like was, was like happy clapping and all of them were like making <laughs> like uh, like holding their hands and like bowing and stuff like like <laughs> like that's comedy and at the same time like something like dreadful was happening 
like that was like amazing <laughs> and i did not expect like sugimoto suddenly like cutting off his hand that was totally unexpected i did not even expect like the russians whipping out pistol like that just like that like, that was also unexpected and <laughs> yeah <clears throat> okay yeah and then um and then we like get to know like the real profession uh like what they actually do uh, uh, ringmaster and like his group and then koito gets a job offer to <laughs> to go, go to america and like uh, become like this person who uh, he will definitely like make it big but unfortunately koito has his eyes only on surumi and surumi would be angry if he like goes so no chance he is <laughs> staying in japan and like <coughs> it's going to like continue this journey <clears throat> and uh, yeah even though like this um like it uh, it only like uh, this uh, episode was only kind of like what can i say uh the only like uh, what can i say the main portion that this uh, episode had like the main uh, information that uh, this episode has was like the little bit portion of the uh prison that he talked about um the uh, ringmaster that was the only like information they got from the whole like the whole thing but still like and at least they got something like it's better than nothing and they like have a goal now like not a goal but a place to go where they might or might not get some more clues and uh, like uh, <clears throat> and as uh, like uh, the main goal of this uh, ep like uh, them doing this show was them to get like uh recognized by the newspaper and letting like sugimoto's name up in the newspaper but unfortunately like <clears throat> it was like only two sentences that still with a misprint and i was thinking like i've never seen ashipa like reading any newspaper so how is this going to help it turns out it really did not help because obviously like ashipa is more <laughs> fascinated <laughs> Uh, like uh, is more fascinated to like uh, like look at uh, like what can I say? Uh, Shit, I see is like uh, poo. <laughs> Shit, uh, other than uh, like not uh, what can I say? Like he is more interested in that than newspapers. So yeah, it it kind of like did not work. So Sugimoto was suffering was in vain i don't know maybe uh, they will probably i don't know maybe they'll like get to know the one thing just a sec like um, no 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 i was thinking something completely different like uh, i was thinking like uh, what will happen if like uh, the others i'm not talking about uh, ashipa i'm talking about uh, ogata or like kiroranke them if they like suddenly see uh, uh, Sugimoto's name in the newspaper like how are they going to react like if Ashipa sees it then that's all well and good because they like Ashipa is going to know that yeah Sugimoto, Sugimoto is alive uh, even though like she thinks that like she is like confirmed from her heart that Sugimoto is alive but <clears throat> I'm guessing like if uh, like uh, no if like Ashipa did not see it or like someone else got to see it before uh, not Shiraishi like Shiraishi is still in like Ashipa's like team I'm guessing like uh, once uh, like Sugimoto to meet with Ashipa and like everything like Sugimoto like gave him uh, the mission of like keeping Ashipa safe uh, so uh, like uh, <coughs> Shiraishi is like an except uh, I'm talking about um, Ogata and uh, Kiroranke if they like somehow get to see this like newspaper and see like Sugimoto's name on it they'll probably like uh, make sure that Ashipa does not get to see that and like probably start hurrying to like uh, get the job like the actual job done that they are doing so yeah like uh, like it's not like uh, like there's nothing much they can do about it because obviously like if they like try to go and uh, like stop like uh, confront uh, Sugimoto it, it's going to be a mess because uh, like yeah the only thing they ha have like only path that Ogata and um, <coughs> Kiroranke has is to run away now because they're like there are two of them and if Sugimoto comes in like th like that will be something like I, I really want to see like how Sugimoto deals with Ogata especially because like Ogata like shot him 
So I'm guessing like he uh, also at this like uh, end of the second season like uh, I like I've seen like Sugimoto has like a deep grudge against Ogata. So yeah, I, I, I want to see like how they like like how he confronts Ogata and what was going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. Like I I can like see what's going like uh, understand like what's going to happen. <sighs> Sugimoto will be extremely pissed at all the things that has happened. So like. Yeah, Ogata should better watch out. So yeah, guys, that was this um episode. This was uh, episode number uh, four of Golden Kami, season number three. And uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the uh, like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and uh, be sure to like comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out and uh yeah guys i'll be back with a new um golden gamui episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day